Hey kids, once upon a time, a cool motorcycle dude. One of my favorites. I always have a favorite, don't I? But this one's written and illustrated by Kevin O'Malley. And it looks like it's also illustrated by Karen Haler and Scott Gatto. He had a lot of people illustrating this book. It's one of my very, very fun favorites. Are you guys ready? <laughs> well, for our library project, we were supposed to tell our favorite story fairy tale, but we couldn't agree on which story was the best. So we just made one up. I'll begin my story. <sighs> my beginning is better, but go ahead. Once upon a time, in a castle on a hill, there lived a beautiful princess named Princess Tenderheart. <laughs> Every day, Princess Tenderheart would play with her eight beautiful ponies. She named them Jasmine and Nimble and Sophie and Polly and Penny and Sunny and Monica. Her favorite pony of all was called Buttercup. Uh, please don't call him Buttercup. Call him like Ralph or something. <laughs> they have two different ideas. Well, one night, a terrible thing happened. A giant came and stole away poor Princess Little Jasmine. Oh, all the other ponies cried, and they cried, and they cried, but most of all, Princess Tenderheart cried the hardest of all. It was really sad. Oh, oh. Oh, please, give it a grip. <laughs> He's not liking her story. Her father, the king, hired all the princess he could to protect the princess and the ponies. But night after night, another pony was stolen away. Mm -hmm. The poor princess just sat in her room and she turned straw into gold thread. That's what she did. Yeah. And she cried and she cried and she cried, but only Buttercup was left. And Princess Tenderheart, she thought her heart would break. Oh, who would protect her Buttercup? <laughs> That's it. I can't take it anymore. I get to tell the story from here. So now he gets to tell his side of the story. <laughs> One day, this really cool muscle dude, he rides up in the castle on his motorcycle. Yeah, and he says he'll guard the last pony if the king gives him all the gold thread. With that, the princess has to make. Huh. The king says, okay, and the dude, he just sits and waits for the giant. Dudes. <laughs> As if... He's not even cute or anything. <laughs> well, night after night, so that night the giant heads up to the castle. Man, this giant was an ugly dude. He was big and mean, and he had four teeth in his mouth, and that were all rotten and yellow and black. <laughs> Yeah! And his breath smelled like rotten, moldy, stinky, wet feet! Yeah! <laughs> That's just gross. Uh, well, he needs eight ponies to make a tasty pony stew, and he only has seven. So, that night, he goes to steal the last pony. Well, the muscle dude has this really big sword, and the giant and the dude, they battle all over the place. The earth was shaking. Yeah, and there was lightning and thunder and volcanoes were exploding. Yeah, it was huge. Volcanoes? Ugh. 
where did the volcanoes come from? Now remember, they're telling a story together. Well, night after night, the giant comes back and the dude beats him. Night after night, the princess has to make the gold and he gives it to the dude and he gets really rich. <laughs> the end. That's it. The princess, the princess just sits around making thread. <laughs> yep. I don't think so. I'll tell you what happened, Bubba. <laughs> well, Princess Tenderheart, she goes to the gym and she pumps iron. She picks up this because this princess warrior. She's very cool. <laughs> and then she tells the dude he can make his own thread. So, night after night, that night, the princess had this huge, tremendous battle, and the giant turns and runs to his cave. The end. Bam. And the dude just sits there making gold thread. Ha! Nuh-uh. The, you see, this is what really happened. Huh. The dude, he makes this really cool blanket out of gold thread. And when he puts it over his head, he turns invisible. And then he goes to rescue the ponies. <laughs> you can't see me. <laughs> you can't see me. You can't see us. The princess goes with him. Ugh. Fine. Mm, now they're working together. Well, the dude and the princess, they get into this big fight. Who gets to free the ponies? Yeah! And the giant hears the voices, and he gets so scared that he jumps off the cliff! Yeah! Cool! <laughs> cool. <laughs> so the princess and the prince, they fall in love. Whoa! Who said he was a prince? And what's this stuff about love? And they get married on a beautiful spring day. And when they have a baby, it's the most beautiful baby girl. <laughs> nuh uh. Nuh uh. <laughs> it was a boy. <laughs> it was a girl. <laughs> Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that book. It's kind of like reading a comic. Once upon a time, a cool motorcycle dude. You guys have a good day. Bye.